This is the slide technique. It's a mouse-based user interface that allows you to move objects within 3D environments, similar to drag and drop. The task here is to move these five boxes from point A to point B as quickly as possible. The system, by default, keeps objects in contact with the background and prevents intersections. Upon closer inspection at the end of the task, we see that the boxes are precisely touching the ground as well as each other without any intersections. This approach makes sense because of the gravity that is present in most virtual environments. On the other hand, the more traditional approach for moving objects is to provide 3D widgets. These widgets allow users to move the selected object along the X, Y, or the Z axes. It is possible to move along two axes at the same time, but not all three. The problem with this behavior being the default is that it makes simple tasks like positioning objects quite complicated and frustrating. First, the user has to break down the translation into its X, Y, Z components, and then use the small widgets to try and perform the correct translations. This means a lot more clicking and mouse movements are needed. Additionally, once the object is roughly in the right place, the user has to manually try to ensure that it is neither floating in mid-air nor intersecting with others. This is done by eye, and if you get close enough, there will always be some problem. In my system, these calculations are done by the computer, which is a lot more accurate. As you can see by now, the same task of moving five boxes requires significantly more time using this technique, and the accuracy of the end result is quite low. In this case, you can see that all of these boxes are actually slightly hovering above the ground, which was not the user's intention. 